Hi Geminis, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Getting right into your Mercury retrograde and full moon in Pisces forecast, Geminis. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please go to my website below. And if you want to find out how to win a free reading with me, that is in the description box as well, Geminis. Well, what's going on this Mercury retrograde and full moon in Pisces? Um, energy that we're going through right now. If you guys don't know, Mercury retrograde started Friday and there's a massive full moon, emotionally moody, sensitive, um, and Pisces here that happened on Saturday. So a lot to cover, Geminis. Uh, Geminis, if you have a friend named Ashley who's a Libra or an Aquarius, someone's crying over them. We have a tower moment within your energy and I felt this because we are in Mercury retrograde. Gemini's your world by Mercury. If you did not know, I am a Gemini moon and rising. That's why I kind of had to take a short break, but I'm back. Um, you're you're realizing your worth, getting your emotions together, and, and you're getting like an epiphany or downloads this week where it's like this tower moment is coming in for the good Gemini's, okay? Just saw 111 angel number, so new beginnings are happening. This had to dismantle, this volcano had to erupt because it was time for you to realize your worth. We have the moon card. You could be dealing with the Pisces um, Gemini's here. You could have water in your chart. You're just tired of working on relationships that are just one-sided or things that just um just always went wrong you know someone was never like emotionally available to you gemini so it's like spirit it wants you right now to focus on filling your cup focusing on working on yourself here we have the eight of pentacles the eight of wands in reverse and the queen of wands focus on your passions here um your goals for the week like even if even with that small baby step because there's a counterpart here that's um waiting for you to match their energy so that they can come forward, right? The chariot's here for a reason. Spirit wants you to go to hermit mode because the three of pentacles is in reverse. You're not really necessarily doing the work on your emotions and how you feel, right? Spirit wants you to release that for this full moon in Pisces. You're going to be attracting two suitors here, one from your future that you have not met yet and one from your past here, this king of swords. That's kind of like your true match, but it's just toxic, all right? Um... This person from the past had a healing moment where they're folk, where they're realizing um, uh, their side of it, okay? How they could have been more stable, you know? How they could have um, told you the truth instead of giving you the runaround, you know, for some saying that they wanted commitment and then they didn't. And then, like, the communication would be lopsided. You know, you guys would go out, spend time together, and then you don't hear from them for a few days. And then they reach back out and say, sorry, I was busy, da 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 they want to heal this. They, you know, they're thinking about things while you guys aren't in communication here. Gemini's, what moon messages do you need right now? We have show the world the real you. you. Yeah, no longer hiding how you feel to make someone else happy, Gemini. So we got to cut that out here. We have have faith in your dreams because Spirit wants you to get your motivation back. We have a time to give rather than take and a time to give to yourself here. It's time for you to balance out your spirituality and practicality. Full moon and Pisces is right there. So again, Gemini's heavy energy. Try not to take it personally. You know, if you're feeling really emotional and moody, just release it. Let it out. Okay. You know, full moon's energy is always about writing things that you want to release on a piece of paper and do it very cautiously in a bowl and burn it. And just breathe, you know, through it. Watch the flames just, you know, take over the paper and just breathe. So we have the two of cups here, Gemini's. We have the ten of wands in reverse, the world card, and the four of pentacles. Yeah, holding on tight to the past is um, keeping you stagnant, right? Ten of cups is in reverse because you don't believe you can get this, you know. And also, it's this past person. Someone feels just really incomplete without you. They've repressed their feelings long enough. And it's like, again... Um, they know that with 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 every time with the, I see I can't talk when time goes by, um, with every time that goes by, they know that it's a one more second from losing you even more. So it's like they're rushing for it. Thank you, spirit. Man, I was fumbling over that. They're rushing for it to come towards you because Leo Cancer energy is definitely not happy. They're not happy with how to weigh things away. You're not happy either. So again, Gemini, is focus on your goals and your passions here and move forward because. You know, the devil energy here, you're really much in your head. I kind of want to get some um, advice here from Archangel Michael just to see what he needs to say on this on how to clear your head and get out, okay? Gemini's. Strong Virgo energy, earth, 
We have um, Capricorn as well with this King of Pentacles. What advice can you give my Geminis? Eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. You're not seeing cl things clearly. We had nine of Michael. Wow, I wanted to come back, back, come out back to back. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Yep. Gemini's Archangel Michael wants you to know that he got it. Give it to him. Your worry is really unnecessary. You're being dramatic. <laughs> In the words of broke term, right? So this Virgo energy, again, thinking about how things didn't work on the past. You can see, like, look how everyone's looking at the past here, right? Like, um, it's time for you, again, uh, with this... Get to see, I can't talk. Oh my god, see, Mercury, watch your And you guys don't know, I'm literally ruled by Mercury. I'm a Gemini moon and rising, so this is gonna be difficult for me. I just saw 555 angel number. You guys are going through a change, we're all going through a change. So, if I'm a little spaced out, a little cloudy, stumbling, stumbling over my words, this energy is really heavy for me. And so, that's why, guys, I'm double, double Gemini here. All right, so we have the King of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Prince of Pentacles. Wanting you to make new decisions, Geminis. What do you want? Again, you know, time to get rather than take to be in your Virgo energy, you know, in this Virgo season where self-love, self-care, clean up, vacuum, wash your sheets, laugh you haven't done laundry in weeks, okay? Someone also knows that they took advantage of the situation. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, because like I said, over here, you know, you have someone you haven't met yet that's waiting for you to know what your self-respect is, 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 you know. So very soon, clearly decide what you want, Gemini, so that it comes to you now. So you're learning lessons. That's okay. You know, I know you're waiting for this knight in shining armor to come in, but you have to let the past um, go and transform from it, right? You're, these two major arcanas here are sitting next to each other, temperance and a death card, for for you to realize it's okay to not to be okay sometimes. You have to be able to really feel Gemini's. You know, don't just try to ignore it in your daily lives. Really feel so that you can heal and move on because because you're waiting for something that's not coming in because you're not doing the work, right? So, you know, um, you, you, if you're... <laughs> If you're watching this tarot reading, you're getting advice here, higher fan. But, you know, if it isn't for me, write it down in a journal. Trusted friends. Talk to your therapist about this. We have four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. <laughs> Thanks. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. This could also not be your energy, all right? This could be their past person being so hard on themselves that, you know, they're going through the karma here with the judgment, the moon card in reverse. You know, and you can see this karma, right? You're going through temperance and this death card, you know, these two major transformations here while this person is going through judgment and reverse in the moon, yikes, with the nine of wands. The past is kicking their ass. You know, spirit, they're going through karma, Gemini's. If you don't think that they're getting karma from hurting you, holy shit. Yes, they <laughs> Yes, they are. They are, okay? So knowing this, you don't need to worry about this anymore. That's why Archangel Michael is saying, look, I, I got it. I got it, okay? We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Prince of Swords, and the Strength card. And once you clear your head and stop feeling overwhelmed over emotions that are no longer serving you, you're you're gonna cut through this, right? Fast as hell, Gemini's. Cause you're gonna see your goals. Strength card is gonna come in and push you. You're gonna start pouring this cup into yourself here. And things are gonna slowly work out. It's, you're gonna feel uncomfortable for the next few weeks, Gemini's. I'm not even gonna lie. Next two weeks, it's gonna be a lot of anxiety, a lot of emotions that you're gonna clear out, right? Because it's now about what do you want? And now look at you looking at the past. Okay, it's time for you to heal, right? Someone who's your match is coming in, your empress energy is in reverse. If you're too much in your masculine energy, it's time to tap into your feminine energy. That self love, self care, you know, time to heal old wounds, right? It's safe to make the move that you are considering, Gemini's, and trust in a situation. You and a person don't share this vision. As again, twin flame, again, it's trying to come forward, but look at you in reverse here, Miss Empress, Miss Divine Feminine. <laughs> 
Go slow with yourself and attach with love to clearly see the truth, Gemini. There's a chem there's a extremely um attractive connection that's trying to move forward. I want to clarify your Empress energy in reverse. Yeah, the lovers. Oh, look at that. Work on yourself, love, self care, Gemini. Again, like I said, you know, get out your. It's going to feel cloudy. Try to get out your brain a little bit. Oh, yeah, thank you. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Denial wants to come out again. <laughs> Dang, your spirit guys are dragging you because you are in denial, Gemini. And, you know, we're going to get through this here. Self love, self care. Try something you have never done before, all right? Unhealed wounds are blocking for a movement. You get the hint. It's time for you to balance and surrender to the divine. All right. Know that this is happening for a reason. Emotions are running high, but it's time to take action. Gemini's. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Have a wonderful week.